Hi everybody and welcome to Crosby. This is our lab where we conduct our capstone experience. If you don't know what capstone is, it is the culminating senior um, experience where our students really practice engineering. They uh, come to this lab, they have their projects that last through an entire year. We start in the fall semester of their senior year and then it goes all the way to the spring semester and at the end of the spring semester they designed, built and tested a, an engineering project under realistic industry conditions. So it is intended to really bring in a variety of the knowledge that they've accumulated over the previous three years. And what I wanted to show today is just some examples of the diversity of uh, the capstone projects that we conduct here at UMaine. Let me say this, we pride ourselves in a very significant capstone experience. So we have a um, great number of projects and a great variety of projects that are linked. Some of them are linked to competition, some of them are linked to industry, some of them are linked to research, and some of them are, like most of them are a lot of fun. So let's take a look at them. Um, maybe we'll just do a quick look through and show you some of the differences. This here is a hydrofoiling catamaran sailboat. Um, this is built, or the, 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 um, the motivation for this arose um, from the America's Cup, which is the uh, world's um, most prestigious sail race, where the evolution has been over the past few years to design and build boats that actually don't go through the water, but that they fly over the water on wings, on submerged wings. So it's called hydrofoils right here. So we had uh, student teams um, built, design, built, and test these. Um, over a year, and we had multiple of them. This is a, a, an older version. You can see it has a it has a wing, a rigid wing. This is not a sail; it's an actual wing. It has it's made out of fiberglass. It has adjustable hydrofoils so that the ride height can be um, adjusted. And uh, they were fascinating projects. Um, so marine engineering, aerodynamics takes us to more aerospace. Uh, drones is really one of our highlights over the last few years. We currently have, I think, five or six drone projects. This is an example from last year. We work, and this is a typical project where we work with uh, research entities. So some of this is funded through NASA grants that we have with uh, the, uh, the, the forestry um, college to design and build drones that uh, work for remote sensing activities. So they will fly over forested areas they will have downward looking sensors and they will pick up on spruce budworm infestation and so on. So we, we work very closely, our students work very closely with research labs that then take their projects and apply them in real life. So we, we find this very exciting. This is a, um, yeah, it is a drone that can fly for over 20 minutes. Um, it is, has a lot of carbon fiber parts. Um, the actual battery is missing right now. One of the really neat things that we do too is we, work with a hockey team and we recycle some of the used hockey sticks that they have. So if you look at these arms, they're actually made out of hockey sticks, out of old hockey sticks, carbon fiber, high-end hockey sticks. That's one aspect. We have internal competitions. Uh, this was a back to the hydrofoiling theme. We thought it was too uh, easy to design and build bicycles. So we had our students design and build bicycles that float over water. So you can see they don't have wheels. It's a traditional bicycle frame, but the design process was to come up with a lifting surfaces that go underwater. And these bikes, you can get on the bike, pedal real hard, you pedal the propeller turns, and then these bikes will fly over the water. And as you can imagine, this is quite the engineering challenge, hydrodynamic structures, controls. Um, and it's also quite the learning curve. So it's, uh, I would say it's, it's a, it's a good time for everybody to test these things out in the university pool. We've had multiple of these um, that then compete at the end of the year for a prize. Or, I mean, the bragging rights more than a prize. More drones. This is yet another collaboration. It's an unfinished project. Um, COVID had a, had a word to, to, to say here as well. It's unfinished from last year. Uh, we hopefully will be able to finish it. This is a hybrid vertical takeoff and landing rigid wing aircraft, um, also used for remote sensing. It does a uh, long endurance um, flying for the forestry department. So the idea is again, to mount sensors on it and, um, and be able to take off vertically, fly the remote sensing mission, come back down and land and, uh, and be useful in that way. As you can see, this is quite the aerospace engineering challenge. 
Our students that built this and designed this, they took some of the respective aerospace courses, such as fixed wing aircraft design. And um, it is a, it's a fascinating project. Another one, 3D printing. As you, a lot of the parts that you see, for example, in the previous drone that we saw here, let me just showcase this. These blue parts, they're all 3D printed. They come out of 3D printers. They're made out of PLA or ABS materials. Um, and um, so it, 3D printing is something that we leverage and we use extensively here at Humane for the capstone project. And this is a 3D printer. So if we're gonna use them, we might as well also do some work on improving current 3D printing technology. And this is one example. Normally a 3D printer has a filament of material that goes into the print head. And this filament, um, it's fused to position modeling, then it's kind of like a hot glue gun. And it builds layer by layer the part on the, on the build plate. Um, what we've had is we've, instead of using new um, filament, we are actually using recycled filament here. This is shredded and recycled filament, and our students designed and built a print head that uses recycled filament to print 3D printed parts. More 3D printed parts. This is another competition that we have, an internal competition. This is the land drone competition that's been going on for multiple years. This is one entry. Our students designed and built this. There is a an outdoor track and parkour that they have to go through under you know specific rules. And what makes this drone so special, it's that the whole thing, with the exception of these, of these things, these rods are carbon fiber. Everything else is 3D printed. Even the tires on the wheels, this is flexible material, and even this is 3D printed. Um, obviously the motors aren't, but the motor battery and so on aren't, but the entire structure, with the exception of the carbon fiber rods, is 3D printed. This is another project where at the end of the semester, at the end of the spring semester, we all go out, we typically have multiple of these, sometimes with other departments as well, and we go out and have a competition to see who um, performs best. So you can start to see the variety. Um, let's get real varied. This, as you can probably see, is a, um, a starting block for swimming, for the sport of swimming. Now, this is designed, built uh, from scratch by our students. Now, the distinction here is it wasn't just, okay, we need a starting block so that swimmers can dive into the pool. We want a smart starting block. So the task was for the students to design a starting block that fulfills all the Olympic and YMCA regulations for swimming, but that would give information to the swimmer as to how good their dive is, as to how you know they dive into the water. That's a, a, um, an important part and to be able to, to train with that in practice. And it's a little difficult to see, but I don't know if you can get in here, but back here we have an LCD screen um, that will read out the impulse. So the direction, the angle, and the, and the strength of, of the dive. And this is a great tool that swim coaches and swimmers can, can use for, um, um, for swim practice. So hydrodynamics, drones, water bicycles, swimming starting blocks. Let's go into the, the glacial side of things. This is working is a project that we've uh, developed last year, working with the Climate Change Institute. The Climate Change Institute, they go out into the field, onto glaciers, and do drill ice cores, which they then use to do research. So they will look at the different layers of the ice and uh, analyze that as to CO2 content and, and the evolution of the atmosphere over, over many, many thousands of years. The problem that they have is they have to transport these ice cores um, out of the field to be able to take them to the lab. And that's a challenging endeavor. So we worked with them to design a ice core transport box. You can see that this is, it's, the walls are quite thick. And with the idea of making a box that is so well insulated that um, it would prevent the ice cores from melting over a longer period of time. This particular box is not, you know, it's not just styrofoam. This is actually vacuum insulated panels are in here. They're vacuum panels that provide a very high level of insulation. And our students um, monitor these, and then they had those control system in here that would monitor the temperature. Um, more cars. Back there, it's deflated now. It's, we started off inflated. We also work with blimps. Um, we have an annual competition where our students design and build blimps, um, airships that fly around a certain, you know, there's an oval track and, and we do that in, in one of the indoor spaces here at Humane. 
and um, get in, in again uh, leaning onto the aerospace side of the uh, of the capstone. So in summary, these are just some highlights. Um, we have a very diverse capstone. We typically cater to most interests that the students have, ranging from sports to 3D printing to vehicles to airplanes, boats, you name it. We work with industry. We've worked directly with industry, designing things such as self-leveling car seats that will automatically adjust when a baby sits in them. We work with um, research, uh, the Advanced Structures Composite Center, 3D printing. We work with forestry to do research. We have, we tap into NASA grants. Um, recently, we're working on a drone for bridge inspections. So with the Department of Transportation and the, uh, the, the, um, uh, one of the centers here at UMaine, we, we are designing and building a drone that will fly under a bridge and use synthetic aperture radar to, um, or other sensors to uh, inspect bridges from underneath. So summer, in summary, Capstone is a, the culminating experience. It's very exciting for everybody. I'm thrilled to be able to teach it and to support our student teams in, in, uh, in, this, uh, in this fantastic course. And um, we pride ourselves here at UMaine of having a diverse and very intense Capstone. So that's it from my end. <laughs>